Hi folks, I'm coming to you from the balcony of the St. James Hotel in Selma, Alabama. And I was really taken aback with how close we were to the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And for those of you that are not familiar with this bridge, it played such an important role in the civil rights movement. Dr. Martin Luther King made his walk across this bridge back in 1965 where he was met and other activists were met by law enforcement. It was called Bloody Sunday. It was a turning point for the state and for this country. President Barack Obama commemorated that event on its 50th anniversary by making that same walk across the bridge. Selma is a city in transition. It is a city trying to find itself, but it has a proud populace and it has so much potential. And today, we're staying at a hotel who has been here since 1837. It has seen much change in this city's history, and it's going to be a part of its future. The St. James Hotel. It's the last remaining historic hotel in this city. It sits amongst dilapidated buildings and closed shops, but amazing potential. And this hotel itself sat vacant for nearly 100 years until a $6 million investment brought it back to life. And now, even in the midst of a pandemic, and as the pandemic is hopefully coming to a close at some point, it greets people again, and it shows off the elegance that has taken care of people for nearly 200 years. It's a beauty and I can't wait to show it to you. This hotel was once a, a getaway for the ultra wealthy in the South. It's one of the few remaining Riverside hotels in existence. Even the James boys, Frank and Jesse, spent time here in the late 1880s. Hey, Frank, you wanna We had a room on the top floor, and when you're getting a room here, try to get one that is off to the side that has a private balcony, which is what we had here. Great king-size bed that slept extremely well. Everything you would come to expect from a, a more high-tier hotel. Beautiful view. We spent quite a bit of time out there. And a very nice, modern, updated bathroom even though this is a historic hotel and it still retains that feel. As you go throughout it, you feel the history of the hotel, but you don't have to scrimp any on luxury or convenience. And then again, this is what made it so awesome. These views. And it's it really takes you back a little bit because once you go out into the town of Selma, especially the historic downtown, there's a lot of work to be done. There's very little business. The city is still trying to find itself, and I think the key to it is gonna be the river here and trying to find a way to take advantage of everything that Selma has to offer people vacationing here. The staff here at the hotel were excellent, and the citizens of Selma, likewise, just excellent people. I love this courtyard, and I think we need to get a better look at it. You agree? I hope you do, because I'm taking you there. This hotel is part of the Hilton family of hotels, but I like the fact that they're buying up some of these historic hotels and keeping them as they are. With obviously, Hilton would be quick to say, well, hey, we put $6 million into it. Yes, obviously with the renovations needed, but it still has its own flair, its own feeling, its own uniqueness, and that's definitely why we'll be coming back to the St. James again. So on our way down, <laughs> they gave us a treat for it being our anniversary. How nice is that? So now back to the room. Yes. One more time. <laughs> Another great aspect of this hotel is the fact that it has a restaurant right on site. You don't have to go anywhere. And even though I haven't mentioned it yet, I'm sure you've picked up on the very much the New Orleans influence on the St. James Hotel here. There's, of course, a St. James Hotel in New Orleans as well. 
you know, New Orleans theming on the menu very much as well, jambalaya, etouffee. You're going to have uh, a lot of Creole dishes. I end up going with the jambalaya myself, and I think Lori had a steak. I apologize for not getting that on film, but uh, I think the less vloggers eat on film, the better. What about you? I thoroughly encourage you to come to Selma, Alabama and stay at the St. James Hotel. There are many things to do in the downtown historic district, the Old Depot Museum. There is the Museum of Slavery, which actually covers slavery in all its forms, even into human trafficking and what that looks like in the modern age. It was very eye-opening, as well as a civil rights museum. St. James Hotel, we loved it. Thanks for watching, everybody.